David is not having an easy time in high school. He is looked down upon. He's teased. He really doesn't have a tremendous number of social interactions or friends. And so he's super depressed. He has an older brother named Kyle that he's super close to. Kyle uh, was very different than him in high school. He was a jock and he ran in the popular crowd. And Kyle's now in college. And Kyle knows how difficult life is for David. And so he encourages David whenever he can when he's on the phone with them. So when the story opens, David and Kyle are talking and David um, has decided that he's going to ask a girl out. And Kyle is like, that's great. Go ask the girl out, Um, uh, giving him some pointers. And they get off the phone and they're both super happy. And David goes to school the next day and he asks Cass McBride out. Now, if Kyle had known this, if his brother had known Uh, he would have told David that he shouldn't do that because Cass McBride is not a nice person. It's not going to go well if David tries. And so David tries. He asks her out. She kind of blows him off. She's looking at him like he's, you know, a little bug that she can squash. And and they go to study hall, which is the next period. And she's kind of writing this note to her friend who's sitting behind her. And she folds it up and she passes it behind her. And her friend misses it. But David's sitting across the room. And he sees this note fall on the floor. And as everyone files out, he goes over and he picks up this note. And he learns what Cass really thinks of him. And it's horrible. Just these horrible things that she writes about him. And it's basically the last thing that pushes him over the edge. He takes this note. He goes home. He gets a pin. And he pins the note to his chest. And he walks out into the front yard. And he hangs himself from a tree. And I'm not giving a lot away when I tell you this story because this basically all happens in the first chapter. What the story is really about is when Kyle finds out um, that his brother has died and he goes home and he finds this note and he realizes that Cass McBride has written this note and he decides enough is enough. Something needs to happen to Cass. And so this story is what happened to Cass McBride.